the vast expanse of the universe, where stars twinkled like scattered gems in the enveloping darkness, a lone spacecraft named the Aegis of Hope navigated its way through the cosmic unknown. On board, a crew of diverse alien species worked tirelessly, united in their mission to explore the uncharted territories of space. Among the crew was Rindal, a stoic and solitary Kryn engineer with a penchant for solitude. Rindal had always preferred the humming of engines and the cold solitude of the ship's metal walls to the chattering voices of his fellow crewmates. He found solace in the quiet, a sense of peace that had eluded him in the bustling cities of his home planet. As the Aegis of Hope continued its journey through the void, it picked up a faint distress signal emanating from a remote asteroid belt on the edge of known space. Curious, the crew altered course to investigate, their spirits lifted by the prospect of aiding a stranded traveller. As Rindal made his way to the communication room to assist in deciphering the signal, he couldn't shake a feeling of unease that had settled in the pit of his stomach. Despite his preference for solitude, he was not immune to the magnetic pull of the unknown, the unexplored territories that beckoned to his adventurous spirit. Upon arriving at the communication room, Rindal found his crewmates gathered around a holographic display, their heads bent in concentration as they attempted to make sense of the garbled transmission. As an expert in alien languages and communication systems, Rindal stepped forward to take charge, his sharp eyes scanning the intricate patterns of light and sound that danced before him. With deft precision, Rindal isolated the signal, filtering out the interference and static, to reveal a haunting melody that resonated in the silence of space. As the notes filled the room, a hush fell over the crew, their hearts stirred by the raw emotion and longing that emanated from the alien distress call. For the first time in his solitary existence, Rindal felt a spark of something unfamiliar ignite in his chest, a yearning for connection, a longing to reach out and offer solace to a fellow traveller adrift in the vastness of the cosmos. Determined to unravel the mystery of the distress signal and uncover the source of the haunting melody that had touched his soul, Rindal set out on a journey that would forever alter the course of his destiny. Little did he know that his encounter with the enigmatic being behind the signal would not only challenge his beliefs and break down the walls he had built around his heart, but also reveal the true power of love and connection in a universe where the thin stars themselves wept for the loveless and lonely. As the Aegis of Hope drew closer to the source of the distress signal, Rindal felt a mix of anticipation and trepidation swirling within him. He had spent countless hours deciphering the alien transmissions, analyzing the patterns of light and sound for clues that could lead them to the stranded traveler. When the crew finally reached the designated coordinates within the asteroid belt, they discovered a small battered spacecraft wedged between two massive asteroids, its hull pocked with scorch marks and its engines sputtering weakly. Rindal's heart clenched at the sight, a pang of empathy piercing through his usually stoic exterior. Without hesitation, the crew sprang into action, deploying rescue drones to provide support and assistance to the stranded vessel. Rindal watched from the observation deck, his keen eyes tracking the progress of the operation with a mix of concern and curiosity. Who was the being behind the distress signal? What had led them to this remote corner of space? As the crew worked tirelessly to stabilize the damaged spacecraft and escort its occupant on board the Aegis of Hope, Rindal found himself drawn to the enigmatic being that emerged from the vessel. She was not like any species he had encountered before, her slender form draped in shimmering robes that reflected the light of distant stars. Her eyes, a mesmerizing shade of azure, held a depth of emotion that spoke volumes without a single word being spoken. Rindal felt a stirring in his heart, a strange sensation that he could not quite place, a longing to unravel the mystery of this captivating being, to understand the sorrow and loneliness that seemed to linger in her gaze. As the being introduced herself as Nyssa, a traveller from a distant planet ravaged by war and longing for a new home among the stars, Rindal found himself captivated by her story. Her voice was soft and melodic, her words carrying a weight of experience and pain that resonated with his own unspoken struggles. Despite his usual aversion to close relationships, Rindal felt a kinship with Nyssa, a connection that transcended language and species. 
Together, they embarked on a journey of discovery and companionship, their shared experiences forging a bond that would defy the barriers of space and time. Little did Rindal know that his encounter with Nyssa would awaken a dormant spark within him, a flicker of hope and compassion that would illuminate his path through the darkness of the unknown. In Nyssa, he found a kindred spirit, a beacon of light in a universe where loveless and lonely souls wandered aimlessly, yearning for connection and understanding. As they navigated the uncharted territories of space together, Rindal and Nyssa would come to realize that in each other, they had found the missing pieces of their hearts, filling the void left by years of solitude and silence. In the vastness of the cosmos, where stars collided and galaxies spun in an eternal dance, their love would shine brighter than any supernova, a testament to the enduring power of connection and the transformative magic of the human heart. As Rindal and Nyssa spent more time together aboard the Aegis of Hope, their bond deepened with each passing day. In Nyssa's presence, Rindal discovered a sense of peace and belonging he had never experienced before. Her gentle nature and unwavering optimism served as a balm to his secluded soul, thawing the ice that had encased his heart for so long. Nyssa in turn found solace in Rindal's quiet strength and unwavering support. His dedication to his work and his crewmates spoke volumes about his character, and she found herself drawn to the depths of his being, eager to unravel the layers of complexity that lay hidden beneath his stoic façade. Together, they explored the wonders of the universe, venturing into uncharted territories and encountering alien civilizations unlike any they had ever seen. Each new discovery brought them closer together, forging a bond that transcended the boundaries of their respective worlds and species. One fateful day, while on a mission to investigate a strange anomaly at the edge of a nearby nebula, Rindal and Nyssa found themselves caught in a sudden and violent energy surge. The ship shuddered as wave after wave of energy cascaded through its systems, threatening to tear it apart. With a steady hand and unwavering resolve, Rindal navigated the Aegis of Hope through the Maelstrom, his skill as a pilot guiding them to safety. As the chaos subsided and the ship emerged unscathed, Rindal and Nyssa shared a moment of intense relief and gratitude. In that moment of shared vulnerability, their connection deepened, their souls intertwining like the strands of a cosmic web. Rindal realized that Nyssa had become more than just a companion. She was his anchor in the turbulent seas of the unknown, a guiding star that illuminated his path through the darkness. As they gazed out at the infinite expanse of the universe, bathed in the gentle glow of distant stars, Rindal and Nyssa knew that their destinies were forever entwined. Bound by a love that transcended time and space, they embarked on a new chapter of their journey, ready to face whatever challenges the universe had in store for them. In each other's arms, they found a sanctuary, a home amidst the endless expanse of stars, where loveless and lonely souls could find solace and solace in the boundless depths of their shared hearts. And as they sailed through the cosmos together, hand in hand, they knew that nothing could ever tear them apart, for they were tethered by the invisible threads of fate and love, two souls intertwined in an eternal dance of light and longing. Time passed aboard the Aegis of Hope, the days blending into weeks and months as Rindal and Nyssa navigated the mysteries of the universe together. Their love grew stronger with each shared adventure, a bond that defied the laws of physics and transcended the boundaries of space and time. One fateful day, during a routine exploration mission on a verdant planet, teeming with alien flora and fauna, Rindal and Nyssa stumbled upon a mysterious ancient temple buried deep within the dense foliage. Intrigued by the cryptic symbols adorning the temple walls, they ventured inside, their hearts brimming with curiosity and wonder. As they explored the dimly lit corridors and chambers of the temple, Rindal and Nyssa sensed a strange energy pulsating in the air, 
a hum of power and mystery that seemed to resonate with their very souls. The walls seemed to shimmer with an ethereal light, casting intricate patterns of shadow and illumination that danced around them. At the heart of the temple, they discovered a massive chamber adorned with shimmering crystals and celestial symbols, a place of power and ancient wisdom beyond their wildest imaginings. In the center of the chamber stood a glowing pedestal, upon which rested a shimmering orb that seemed to pulse with a life of its own. Drawn towards the orb by an unseen force, Rindal and Nyssa approached cautiously, their senses tingling with anticipation and awe. As they reached out to touch the orb, a blinding light enveloped them, sweeping them into a torrent of energy and color that transported them to a realm beyond the confines of the physical world. In this ethereal realm of light and shadow, Rindal and Nyssa found themselves enveloped in a tapestry of memories and emotions, echoes of eternity that reverberated through the fabric of the universe. They witnessed visions of ancient civilizations rising and falling, galaxies colliding and stars being born and dying in a never-ending cycle of creation and destruction. Amidst the cosmic tapestry, they saw glimpses of their own lives intertwined across time and space, their souls connected by a thread of destiny that stretched to the ends of the universe. They saw moments of joy and sorrow, triumph and despair, love and loss, all woven together in a symphony of light and darkness that told the story of their shared existence. As they gazed upon the infinite expanse of the cosmos, Rindal and Nyssa knew that they were bound by something greater than themselves, a cosmic bond that transcended the boundaries of mortal existence and connected them to the very fabric of creation. In each other's eyes, they saw reflections of eternity, a love that would endure through the ages, echoing across the vast expanse of the stars. And as they returned to the physical realm, their hearts brimming with the knowledge of the infinite and the eternal, Rindal and Nyssa knew that their love was a force of nature, a cosmic phenomenon that defied explanation and illuminated the darkness with the radiance of a thousand suns. Together, they would traverse the cosmos, their souls entwined in a dance of light and shadow, bound by the echoes of eternity. Upon their return from the ethereal realm of the ancient temple, Rindal and Nyssa found themselves forever changed, their hearts and souls intertwined in a cosmic dance of light and shadow. The visions of eternity lingered in their minds, a reminder of the timeless connection that bound them together across the vast expanse of the universe. As they resumed their explorations aboard the Aegis of Hope, Rindal and Nyssa embarked on a new chapter of their journey, their love shining brighter than ever amidst the twinkling stars. They navigated nebulae and traversed asteroid fields, discovering hidden wonders and ancient mysteries that spoke of the enduring power of the cosmos. One day, while drifting through the silent expanse of space, Rindal and Nyssa stumbled upon a celestial phenomenon unlike anything they had ever seen. A cosmic symphony that reverberated through the void with a haunting melody that stirred their bare souls to their core. As they beheld the breathtaking spectacle before them, stars flared and galaxies collided in a dazzling display of light and sound that filled the universe with a harmonious resonance that seemed to transcend mortal understanding. The symphony of the cosmos echoed through their beings, resonating with the depths of their hearts and souls in a profound and poignant way. Drawn to the heart of the celestial display, Rindal and Nyssa felt a sense of wonder and awe unlike anything they had experienced before. They floated amidst the swirling nebulae and cascading light, their spirits lifted by the beauty and majesty of the cosmic symphony that enveloped them in its embrace. In that transcendent moment, Rindal and Nyssa felt a profound sense of unity and oneness with the universe, a realization that they were but small fragments of a vast and intricate tapestry that stretched across time and space. They saw themselves mirrored in the stars, their love reflected in the eternal dance of light and shadow, that wove through the fabric of creation. As the cosmic symphony reached its crescendo, Rindal and Nyssa joined hands and closed their eyes, allowing the music of the cosmos to wash over them in a wave of pure emotion and connection. In that sublime moment, they knew that their love was a part of something greater, 
a cosmic harmony that bound them to the very essence of the universe itself. And as they floated in the infinite expanse of space, bathed in the radiance of a billion stars, Rindal and Nyssa basked in the glow of their shared love, knowing that they were but two souls united in a cosmic symphony that echoed through the eternity of time. In each other's arms, they found peace and purpose, a sanctuary amidst the boundless expanse of the cosmos, where their love would shine like a beacon of light in the darkness, forever and always. Rindal and Nyssa continued to journey through the stars, their love for each other growing stronger with each passing moment. United by a cosmic bond that transcended the boundaries of time and space, they traversed the universe in search of new wonders and discoveries, their souls entwined in a dance of light and shadow. As they ventured into uncharted territories and encountered alien civilizations of unfathomable diversity and complexity, Rindal and Nyssa marveled at the beauty and intricacy of the cosmos. Each new encounter brought with it a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness of all life forms, a realization that filled their hearts with a sense of purpose and belonging. One day, while exploring a distant star system on the fringes of known space, Rindal and Nyssa stumbled upon a planet unlike any they had ever seen. Its surface was a kaleidoscope of colors, with shimmering oceans and lush forests that stretched as far as the eye could see. Intrigued by the planet's vibrant beauty, they descended to its surface, eager to uncover its hidden secrets. As they explored the alien world, Rindal and Nyssa encountered a civilization of sentient beings known as the Luminari, a species of ethereal beings with luminous bodies that seemed to glow with an otherworldly light. The Luminari welcomed them with open arms, eager to share their knowledge and wisdom with their newfound visitors. In the heart of the Luminari city, Rindal and Nyssa beheld a sight that took their breath away, a magnificent crystal structure that towered towards the sky, its facets catching the light of the twin moons in a dazzling display of color and radiance. The structure was known as the Nexus of Eternity, a place of power and energy that bridged the gap between the physical world and the realms beyond. Entranced by the beauty and majesty of the Nexus, Rindal and Nyssa felt a sense of reverence wash over them, a feeling of awe and wonder that echoed through the depths of their soul. They knew that they stood on the threshold of something greater than themselves, a cosmic truth that had eluded them until now. As they gazed upon the Nexus, its shimmering surface pulsating with a radiant energy that seemed to hum with the melody of the stars, Rindal and Nyssa felt a stirring in their hearts, a calling from the infinite horizon that beckoned them towards a destiny that had been written in the stars since the dawn of time. And as they stood at the threshold of the nexus of eternity, hand in hand and hearts open to the mysteries of the cosmos, Rindal and Nyssa knew that their journey was far from over. They were but two souls bound by a love that transcended the boundaries of existence, united in a cosmic dance that would carry them to the ends of the universe and beyond, where the infinite horizon awaited, shimmering with the promise of eternal love and infinite possibility. Rindal and Nyssa stood before the nexus of eternity, the shimmering crystal structure pulsating with an ethereal light that bathed them in a warm glow. As they reached out to touch the surface of the nexus, a surge of energy surged through their beings, enveloping them in a brilliant cascade of light that transported them to a realm beyond the confines of the physical world. In this realm of shimmering lights and cosmic energies, Rindal and Nyssa found themselves floating amidst a tapestry of stars and galaxies, their spirits soaring through the vast expanse of the universe with a sense of wonder and awe. They beheld the beauty and majesty of creation, witnessing the birth of new stars and the dance of celestial bodies in a symphony of light and sound that resonated through the cosmos. As they drifted through the infinite expanse of space, Rindal and Nyssa felt a profound sense of connection to the fabric of reality itself, 
a realization that they were but tiny fragments of a vast and intricate tapestry that spanned galaxies and galaxies. Eons. They saw themselves reflected in the celestial dance, their love a beacon of light in the darkness that illuminated the path to eternity. Guided by the cosmic energies that flowed around them, Rindal and Nyssa journeyed through the realms of the infinite, witnessing the birth and death of civilizations, the rise and fall of empires, and the enduring power of love that transcended the boundaries of time and space. They saw echoes of their own lives intertwined with the threads of destiny, their souls connected by a bond that stretched to the ends of the universe. In the heart of the cosmic realm, they encountered a being of pure light and energy, a celestial entity known as the Guardian of Eternity, a being of immense power and wisdom that had watched over the cosmos since the beginning of time. The Guardian greeted them with a voice that echoed through the void like a celestial choir, its words filled with a resonance that stirred their souls to their core. You have journeyed far, dear ones. The Guardian spoke, its voice a melody of the stars. You have witnessed the cosmic symphony and embraced the echoes of eternity. Now, you stand at the threshold of a new beginning, a passage through eternity that will carry you to the furthest reaches of the universe and beyond. Rindal and Nyssa listened with reverence and awe, their hearts open to the wisdom and guidance of the Guardian. They knew that they were on the cusp of a new chapter in their journey, a path that would lead them to the heart of the cosmos and the essence of creation itself. As the Guardian extended a hand towards them, Rindal and Nyssa felt a surge of energy wash over them, a profound sensation of unity and purpose that bound them to the cosmic tapestry in ways they could not fully comprehend. In that moment of transcendent connection, they knew that their love was a force of nature, a bond that would endure through the ages, echoing through the expanse of eternity with the radiance of a thousand suns. And as they prepared to embark on the passage through eternity, Rindal and Nyssa felt a sense of peace and fulfillment wash over them, a certainty that they were destined to traverse the stars together, hand in hand, hearts united in a cosmic dance, that would carry them to the edge of infinity and beyond, where the echoes of their love would reverberate through the cosmos for all time. As Rindal and Nyssa were enveloped in the radiant energies of the Guardian of Eternity, a profound transformation began to unfold within them. Their spirits intertwined like threads of stardust, merging and blending in a celestial union that transcended the limitations of mortal existence. In a symphony of light and sound, Rindal and Nyssa ascended through the cosmic realm, their beings merging with the infinite expanse of the universe in a sublime dance of transcendence. They felt the essence of creation flow through them, a tidal wave of energy and consciousness that carried them towards a higher plane of existence. As they soared through the heavens, their souls entwined in a celestial embrace, Rindal and Nyssa beheld visions of cosmic wonders beyond imagination. They witnessed the birth of new galaxies and the formation of nebulae, the collision of stars and the creation of worlds teeming with life and possibility. Guided by the luminous presence of the Guardian of Eternity, Rindal and Nyssa journeyed through the realms of light and shadow, their spirits vibrating with a resonance that echoed through the fabric of reality itself. They felt a sense of unity and harmony with the universe, a oneness that transcended individuality and embraced the interconnectedness of all life forms. As they approached the threshold of the cosmic horizon, a radiant portal of light opened before them, beckoning them towards a new dawn of existence. Rindal and Nyssa stepped through the portal hand in hand, their hearts brimming with love and purpose, their souls ablaze with the light of a thousand suns. In that moment of ascension, Rindal and Nyssa became beings of pure energy and light, their essences merging with the cosmic forces that pulsed through the universe. They felt the infinite expanse of creation envelop them in a warm embrace, enfolding them in a tapestry of limitless possibility and boundless potential. As they transcended the boundaries of time and space, Rindal and Nyssa knew that they had become one with the cosmos, united in a cosmic dance of light and shadow that reverberated through the eternal expanse of existence. 
They had transcended mortality, their souls ascending to a higher plane of consciousness, where love reigned supreme and the echoes of eternity sang in harmony with the stars. And as Rindal and Nyssa ascended towards the cosmic horizon, their love shining like a beacon of light in the darkness, they knew that their journey was far from over. Together, they would traverse the infinite expanse of the universe, their souls intertwined in a celestial union that would endure for all eternity, a testament to the enduring power of love and the boundless depths of the human spirit.